we've been coming to exchange since uh, day one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're we're super proud to be part of the family. We, um, I think, our favorite thing about exchange is the community and and the people and uh, the relationships that we've been able to build along the way. Pretty much, I would say exactly after a year that exchange began, we. Um, I, I got a calling that we were to check out Exchange. So I'd been praying about it. I had felt unsettled uh, where we were at. And by like the second time that we attended, we just knew that it felt like home. And we were we knew, I think both of us knew that's where God had called us to be, to serve, to, to grow, to be a part of. Yeah, I, I just love it there. I don't, I, I can't imagine going anywhere else. One of the things that really draw our attention to exchange is diversity. It was one of the things that just blew my mind away, seeing people of different colors, different races, and even different faiths that do come to exchange. So that was like, boom, this is where I want my kids to be in. As a mom, what I'm looking to do is for my kids to really have that relationship with Jesus. Growing up at the church, I had that. So as a mom, that was my true wish for them. Mm -hmm. And at Exchange, they're able to do that. They're able to see people that look like them, dress like them, act like them on stage, you know, loving Jesus, praising God. And it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing to see them want to come to church. I had someone say to me once, you know, I don't want to come to church because they're always asking for money, right? And I understand people might feel like that, right? The way I look at it is I'm not giving to Exchange. I'm not giving to Drew and Brad or any of the ministry that I'm giving to God. Mm -hmm. And I find that the more that I give and the more, you know, Sherry and I are a team, obviously, the more we give, the more we're blessed and mm -hmm. beyond measure. I, and countless times I can say that, you know, we've given a small amount because we were blessed and then God blesses us even more. I still remember when we were trying to, um, we were trying to buy our house when the market was kind of crazy and we were bidding against 12 other people mm -hmm. and uh, the realtor asked us for an extra three thousand dollars that we didn't have and we, we you know, said we would get it somehow yep yeah, and, and then, then we had a month to get it before closing and then we just prayed and prayed we're like hey god help us get this three thousand dollars like we'll work extra shifts or whatever but we were still giving even though we were still tithing because that's kind of our baseline but then randomly he got three thousand dollars in in his account that mm -hmm. we have no idea where it came from it just said like i don't even know what it said in the part but yeah. we we never found out where it came from but we were able to get our house and we said god i swear if we get this house we'll host small group every week <laughs> <laughs> and we got it and he knew <laughs> so it i don't know god blesses when you tithe and people always assume like or associate tithing with the, the Old Testament, right? But in Matthew 6, 21, and I've been praying about this, God says, where our treasure is, our heart is also. And God is so concerned about our heart. And God, God knows, God knows the first place that we put our finances, that's where our heart is. So as an act of obedience, mm -hmm. as an act of pure love of God, that should be our first, right? We should have our heart in that spot because that is, we are just servants here. We are just shepherds here. None of this belongs to us. And something that I do with my kids, whether it's my workplace, my home, it's switching that attitude from have to to get to. So we get to tithe, we get to go to work, we get to go to school. And it's so important because God gives us our salary, whatever we have, God's giving that to him. We're not just giving him this 10% because we ha like we have to. It is literally his that we're giving back to him because we get to do that because he's grace says with so much. Mm -hmm. It's something that we wanna show our boys that even when life happens, even when financial issues strike, like loss of a job, you know, um, cause we've gone through that twice in a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. Um, that we're going to tr put our trust in the Lord and that we're still going to give to Him even when the times are tough because we know that through that, it's it's going to grow the kingdom. And that's that's really, I think, where our heart lies is Absolutely. growing the kingdom. And if we can do that through our finances, when this world is so push, 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 materialistic, um, what 
you know, what can I get? What can I get? But like, it's really important to show our boys so that they also, for that next generation who's growing up, to be able to give to others. Um, and and I think the thing that I love the most about with exchange with this legacy offering is it's so much more than just about our 10% on a Sunday, right? It's really leaning into trusting the Lord. And I think that's the biggest part is that everything we have, it's not ours anyways. So who are we to keep it?